Welcome to Blossom Your Creativity. My name is Debbie and I'm glad you're here. This is a DIY channel. I do some faux foods. So if this is your jam, you're in the right place and let's get creative together. If you like what I do throughout the video, please give me a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, what are you waiting for? It's free. So let's get started. Hi friends. This is my Mother's Day post, and I'm calling it that because I made this cute little plate today. And um, if you come back tomorrow, I will show you how I made that. Um, I will post that as a DIY. So I just wanted to kind of share my little um, area here. My mom calls these um, cozy corners. This is more of a, a wall than a corner, but, um, it's just a little vignette, I guess we, I would want to say. So, um, these are some of my blue and white items that I had purchased, um, last year and I just love them and it goes so well with the color pink and the blushes. Don't you guys agree? So let's start over here. I don't know, this This was like a catch-all place, so I just put this one here. But this is like a, um, not amber, but it's it's an off pink, not a true pink, but um, it's a little vase and you can put flowers in it, but I chose to leave it empty because I didn't want to take away from my beautiful um, flower arrangement here that I uh, by myself put together so super excited uh, my mom is the one who usually does all the flower arranging um, so I did this one on my own um, my mom is grandma Sandy if you don't already know so if you um, haven't seen her channel before you got to go over and check it out again her name is grandma Sandy and she does a lot of um, fairy gardens flower arranging cozy corner like I mentioned so um, you got to go and check her out so let's get back to my little vignette area here and uh, this is when you first walk in the door so there's the door and um, I have this ginger jar here gorgeous and it looks so pretty with the gold and you know you can you can um, sorry there's a lot of traffic noise um, you can add a lot of gold and silver and it's okay it looks good so moving on here is a teapot that I had purchased and I did a DIY and decoupaged um, the napkin on my teapot to go with all of my other items it looks very similar to my runner here and I even put a little piece right here on the spout what do you guys think super cute and I believe I have a video from last year showing how I did it and um, look at it's it's holding up very very well of course I don't use this for teas just for decorative purposes but it looks so good still and it's been sitting out all year round uh, here right here in my front room so it's getting you know all of the weather that comes to the door so it's it's held up very well and then um, again here's the plate I made for my mom now I'm gonna remove this so I can show you this gorgeous ginger jar that I used for my flower floral display isn't that beautiful and this one is my ultimate favorite it's just gorgeous and it has a, um, a lid just like this one does um, but of course I'm I took it off so I could put my flowers in it and then flanking um, each side of course it's the um, silver candlesticks I don't have any candles in it but I just love the way it looks next to the ginger jar and moving over, I have my little birdies. I got them from Hobby Lobby. I have a white one and a kind of bluish green one here. And then I have my sugar, a bowl that matches my teapot over there. I thought about 
um, doing the same um, technique with the teapot, but I thought it'd be too much, so I just left it its original um, white, and it is beautiful. I just love this um, set, and I actually got it off of, um, what's it called, uh, Facebook Marketplace um, a year ago, a year and a half ago, and along with a bunch of other stuff. So I just love the uniqueness of this finial. Um, let me take it off so you can see. It's just really, I don't know, it's kind of blurry, but it's really interesting. And um, everything came in one piece, so that was amazing. And then let me move that. And then I have my creamer, and I love the um, look of this. I love the little fat, fat bottom and then the elongated neck. Isn't that pretty? And it's just gorgeous. And then here is the other little ginger jar. Super cute. Not as fancy because it doesn't have that, you know, um, regal finial on top, but nonetheless, it's beautiful. I absolutely love it. And then let me bring my clock around so you can see that it's getting dark. <laughs> I'm losing my light in this room. I don't know what's going on. All right, so that's a better look. Got this one at Tuesday morning. My, my husband thought I had um, decoupaged it, but no, this is the way it came. And it's so pretty. So I like that. And then just my lamp here. So let me put everything back and then I can finish right, talking. So I got everything back in place. And then um, up above, I have um, this painting. Well, it's a, probably not a painting, but it's a what do you call it? It's just a picture, <laughs> but it's supposed to be like the Thomas Kincaid um, type of situation there. And um, we've had it for a really long time. I had it in my other house. And um, when we moved to this house, I thought this was a perfect spot uh, because the wall is not, kind of pan out, the wall is not too big. There we go. And uh, it fits perfectly there. So what do you guys think? I absolutely love my little area here. And again, um, you know, I see it every day when we walk through the door and it just brings me joy. And um, it, it's just so pretty and soft and warm. And maybe my husband doesn't like it too much because it seems more feminine, but it's my house and I could do what I want. <laughs> he says, I'm the boss, so here you go. Anyways, I'm so glad you guys stopped by. It's been a while since I've shown you a little glimpse inside my house. Um, but I thought since I did this Mother Day, Mother's Day project that I would take a picture um, in my little foyer, I guess you want to say, um, and uh, just show you a little area in my house. All right, so I hope you guys have a wonderful day and you know, Mother's Day is right around the corner, so start thinking about something sweet and nice for your mom. And I have a surprise for my mom on Mother's Day, and we will post it. It won't be posted until the following day, of course, um, but she doesn't know where we're going. I'm taking her somewhere special, so you'll have to come back on the Monday after Mother's Day and see where I took her and how surprised she's going to be. Um, I am like super excited um, to take her to this place. I have never taken her there before um, and I've just been waiting for the perfect time and Mother's Day is a perfect time to share your love with your mom. So until next time you guys, thanks so much for stopping by. I love each and every one of you and I appreciate your support and if you're not already following, please consider trying to make that thousand mark because my mom wants to start doing lives. I'm not sure if I'm up for that, but we'll see. All right. Bye-bye guys.